Hi and welcome back to M's Den. We're Paul and Marie. And this is the Turning 10 Old Toys into £2,000 Challenge. Well, we're back from our break. Wow. Well, not much of a break, was it? It wasn't much of a break, no. No, when most people have a break, they... Um... They rest. Mm. We went the opposite way and worked harder. <laughs> but we have had some time to get stuff done, haven't we? We have, yeah. yeah. Which has meant we've not been doing this, so we're a little bit rusty. So apologies <laughs> if we mess up. I'm sure um, we will. Yeah, this is one of our videos, isn't it? It is, isn't it? I don't know if you just sort me. Sort you. Yeah. Yeah, thing out there in my arm. So I'd like to start this video with an apology because um, for this this is week 46, hun. For 46 weeks, we've been keeping our clothing store a bit of a secret from people. And well, we are, well, we haven't been keeping it a secret. It's just <laughs> no, but it seems like it was, in the last video we made on the clothing, at least four people asked, so, what "What's the your name, clothing what, store? What's the name of this?" You know. So uh, we um, apologise for that. We're not. It turns out it was about 40 weeks before we started revealing the sizes after the lovely Leanne Hill. Sort of contact us and said, you need, you need to you say need the sizes of these. Sizes. <laughs> Showing them all these items, you're not even mentioning the sizes. So I'm sorry that um, that's been the case. We, we're we not very good at the promotional side of things, are we, hum? No, we're all um, So now Paul has put the um, clothing site. The link will be there. Yeah, so if you did want to pop <laughs> along and have a laugh have a look. at our... Yeah, you can have a look. Laugh at our prices or photos, then you know, feel free to... To have a browse. Mm. But yes, apologies for not doing that sooner. We just, we didn't even think about it, did we, hun? No. Didn't enter into our, into our minds. No. So, at all. week 46, hun. We had two weeks off. And it'd been nice. <laughs> it, well, yeah, I mean, one way yes and the other way no. I mean, we, we love making the videos. But, we do. Um, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a time pressure. Yeah. Basically, that's, that's the problem with, with videos is they do take a lot of time. So, of course, when you're trying to get a lot of stuff sorted, um, you know, it, it, it's, it's, you can't. No. You know, it's, it's, it's difficult. And it is going to look like we've had some really good sales, but just bear in mind it is over a two-week two period. Two-week period, yeah. But before we get into the sales, hun, oh, I've, I've ruined the breaking news. Oh, have you? Um, let's, Your hand is cold. I man. know, I am quite cold, hun. <laughs> um, let's talk you through this video. If you're new to this video... Um, we've waffled on for a, at least three or four minutes, hun. Nothing's mm. gone on about yeah. what the video's about yet. Yeah. We are a um, reselling couple with a daughter who will be 21 in less than a month. No, yeah. more than just over a month. Mm. Uh, the maths has let me down again, yes. hun, hasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know where we are. Beginning of June, her birthday yeah. is, um, and we are now in eight, towards the end of April, middle of April, middle towards of the April. end, I don't know. Middle. Anyway, yes. she's going to be 21 in June 2023, and a year ago, one of us thought it would be a really good idea to to do this challenge. The challenge for us was to learn about clothing and shoes, um, to raise money for her so she could have a lovely two-week holiday, which she's never had. Yeah. And we went off on our merry way making these videos, and we're at week 46, hun. You'd think they'd be a little bit more polished than they are by now, <laughs> yeah, but they're not. No. So th That's there not you us, go. Though, is it? No, so we started the challenge with 10 toys and eight of those have sold. Yeah. Um, as the weeks have gone on, we have taken the profit. So we've taken off the costs for eBay. We've yeah. taken off the, the postage. Yeah. And whatever's left goes back into the kitty and we've been reinvesting it. Um, so, so far, we have bought 229 items. We have sold 113 items and we currently have 116 items listed, Hum. So our current kitty is 578 pounds and 39 pence Woo! whoa and we've got a listing value of three thousand and fifty nine pounds and 14 pence so hun have we got any breaking news oh i would hope so after two weeks, <laughs> two weeks yeah can you believe that <laughs> so we're going to go through what we've actually sold if you're new to these videos we stopped buying a few weeks ago didn't we try and yep. build that kitty up yeah so let's um talk through what we've actually sold since we last saw you um, we have a Cotton Traders Suede Effect Cardi. We paid £4 for this. It sold for £18.99. So £13.90 goes back into the kitty because we've taken off the fees and, and the postage, haven't we? We have. Then we've got this Per Una Lambswool Angora Cardi. 
We bought this for three twenty-five. It only sold for ten pounds, so not great, hun. No. What can you do though? No. Um, six pound. Six pound six p. No, you right. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> six pound and six p. has gone back into the kitty. Now we've got a good one, hun. This one is a phase eight ladies' dress. We paid six pound. It sold for thirty pounds. I think we need a doodah, hun, because Whoa. it's only gone over twenty pound profit. So £22.77 is going back into the kitty. We need a few more like that, huh? Yes, you do. Then we've got a Debenhams Airsoft Derby Brogues, a pair of um, men's shoes, I believe. We paid £2. They sold for £20.99p. That's £15.64 going back into the kitty. Then we have this vintage St. Michael's skirt. This was very colourful, if I remember rightly. Yeah. £3.50 it was, huh? It sold for £19.91. What an odd number. Must have been on offer, or yeah, I suppose we didn't so. have a sale, did we? So it must have been so, must have been on offer. Yeah, it must have been a, a unusual offer. price. Yeah, I do percentage offers. So yeah, so that's was, probably yeah. what it is. So mm. fourteen seventy has gone back into the kitty. Mm. Then those fire trap ankle boots, which were the last things we actually bought. Yeah. Um, even though we said we weren't buying, and then no, we, no, sneaked, we did we sneaked those in it, yeah. the following week, didn't we? They we bought those for five pounds. They sold for twenty five pounds. So we have a, a profit of. £19.14 going back into the kitty. Then we have some Phase 8 linen trousers. These were only £3. Huh? What a bargain. We sold them for £13.99, so £9.54 goes back into the kitty. We have this Yours Sporty Top. Um, £1.70 we paid. We sold it for £8.99, so £5.18 goes back into the kitty. We have this Laura Ashley Size 8 skirt. We paid £3 for this. Thirteen ninety nine. It sold for um, nine pound fifty four. Has gone back into the kitty. We've got another yours, ladies' top hun. Mm -hmm. One pound fifty we paid for this. It sold for ten ninety nine, and six pound ninety three has gone back into the kitty. We have a, another phase eight dress. We paid eight ninety nine for this. It sold for twenty five pounds, and nineteen pound fourteen is going back into the kitty. We then have a mango dress. We paid £3. It sold for £8.99 and £5.18 is going back into the kitty. So not amazing, Hannah. I think we bought that not knowing what mango was, but I think it's yeah. showed us not perhaps to borrow Maybe, again. Yeah. <laughs> um, then we have some Fire Trap men's jeans. We paid £3 for these. They sold for £13.49, so £9.11 is going back into the kitty. And we have a Next Ladies top which we paid a pound for. Mm. Um, it was eight ninety nine. We sold it for, so there's a quick flip there, hun, for £5.18. So why don't you um, do the big reveal of how much that profit is this week? Wow, that's good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. £162 and a penny. But just bear in mind that is over two that weeks. That is two weeks, yeah. yeah. So, as it stands, we have bought 229 items, we have sold 127 items, and we currently have 102 items. And our current the kitty, kitty reveal, hun. yeah, the current kitty is now seven hundred and forty pounds and forty pence, mm. and the listing value is obviously going down because we're selling items. So the listing value of the current items on eBay is two thousand eight hundred and twenty-nine pounds and eighty-two pence. I've written it down, hun. I, I know, know you hate saying it, but I've written like it down. It. So, how long have we got to make this? Well, the maths always lets me down, hun, but I think after this video, I think it's around about seven-ish, six or seven-ish, I can't. Okay, in six or seven weeks, mm. <laughs> we've got to get £1,259.60. That's oh, no be a piece of cake, hun. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, we'll see. We'll see if we'll get to that. Quite but... fancy a bit of cake now. That'd be yeah, nice with our would, coffee, would, wouldn't it? With the coffee, it'd be lovely. Yeah, yeah there you go. Yeah. Um, so, we're going to move on to Miss A. Now, if you're new to these videos, Miss A is a lovely lady who kindly donated a box of 30 items mm. high branded items and <coughs> and with those Excuse items me. we've done the same sort of thing um but miss a's sort of challenge really has been for the spending money for emily's lovely holiday mm. so so far with miss a's 30 items that we've done the same sort of thing we've sold them taken the profit and we've reinvested it we've currently bought 241 items we've sold 128 items and we currently have 194 items listed hum mm. So the, with the kitty, we have um, £606.50. And uh, the listing value 
of those uh, 240, no, sorry, 194 yeah. items is £3,610.37. It's says building, isn't it? Building it nicely. Is building, yes. Now, have we got any breaking news, hun? That's a thing. I'd, I'd hope so. We have, we... but it is very strange because there is nowhere near as many as the top, as the 10. I always want to yeah. call it top, top 10. I top don't 10. quite know. Top 10. I think it's all those years in my bedroom doing their old top 10, you know, when you're <laughs> recording it on your little yeah. cassette. I think that's it's all those years it's ingrained yeah. in my brain. Mm. So anyway, veering off. So Miss A, we have some um, sales, but only four over a two week period. Right, so okay. we're going to start with this Karen Millen skirt that we paid eight ninety nine for. Um, not the greatest buy, but if you look at the number, hun, E8, that was the eighth, Ooh, that's... eighth item we bought for yeah. the challenge. So that is going to be last June we bought this. That's a long time, um, isn't it? And that sold for £18, so we got £12.81 back. Mm. Um, that's going into but it's a kitty, yeah. Almost a year, it's been almost a year to yeah, that's not taken. Good. So then we've got this Bon Marsh dress. Dress? <laughs> oh, and a bit Sean Connery then. Yeah. This Bon Marsh dress that we bought for a pound. Um, we sold it for £9.89, so we have £5.97 going back into the kitty. Then we have this John Lewis dress. This went quite quickly, hum. Mm. We paid £6.49 for this. It sold for £22, so £16.52 goes back into that kitty. And then we have an M&S ladies blouse that we paid one pound seventy four, mm. sold it for nine pound ninety nine, and we had six pound and six p going back into the kitty. Wow! So we've got a kitty. The uh, well, the profit of yeah. that is forty one pound thirty six pence. So yes. not an amazing amount of profit for two weeks, no. but it does it does add up, doesn't it? Mm. So as it stands at this point in the video, we have bought two hundred forty one items from Miss A. We've sold 132 items and we currently have 190 items. And the current kitty is £647.86. And a listing value of the items on eBay of £3,550.49. But it is a little bit different because if you look at the two kitties, this is the first time the 10 Toys has overtaken Miss A's kitty. Oh, yeah. I know, how weird. That is weird. Now, I don't quite know why that is. The only thing that we've done differently in the challenge is on the last week of buying, because Miss A's kitty had become quite a lot, yeah. we, we used a lot of the money from the 10 Toys kitty to buy, and we bought 30-odd items. Bought, uh, yeah, we that's did, That's the yeah. only difference to but every that's week. A, that's how many weeks ago? Oh, was it was a few now? weeks ago few now. Weeks ago, yeah, so, so I don't know why, because even and when you look at the figures, we've... We've always, we bought more for Miss A, we sold more for Miss A, and we have more items for Miss A. So I don't quite know mm. why. Um, I think we had quite a few here. There's quite, quite yeah. a few that we have sold for the 10 toys, but Miss A's only sold four. So I don't quite know the science behind it. But it's weird, isn't it, when you look at it like yeah. that? Yeah, I mean, we'll have a play around with the listings, won't we? And yeah. Jig them about a bit. We are and, um, listing mm. because, you know, even though we stopped buying for the challenge, we are buying and we are listing daily. Oh yeah, yeah. On the for, clothing site to try and yeah. gear it all up. We yeah. are so we, we're still, everything. We're still throw, throwing clothes onto the site. And um, time. But it's not to do with the challenge itself. No. So, you know, it's on the same site. So the theory is obviously all the clothes that we're putting on should... Um, help generate help sales. Generate yeah. sales. That's the plan. The so well. we are, we are going to continue till the end, aren't we, really? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Trying to push as much as possible to try and get as close yeah. to that £2,000 Mm. Um, I mean, to be honest, if we get over a thousand, I'd be happy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know at this stage, I mean, got seven hundred and forty pounds, <laughs> but we've still got. A, it's either six or seven weeks, hun. So we, we know we're, we're not going to give up yet, are we? No, 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 definitely not. No, we are pushing. Yeah, just keep trying. That's it. So this is the exciting part of the video um, where we talk about the research. We are over these forty-six weeks. We've been learning each week about a couple of brands. So that when we go to those charity shops, we can um, we can be a bit more like the luxury pickers and pick up some proper good think, stuff. We never see we those brands ever do it. Be like the luxury no, pickers. no. Their, their knowledge is. I know. Oh. <laughs> I want to be it's... like them, though. I want to be like them. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got enough amazing hats to be like <laughs> Bethany. <laughs> but we um, we learn, try and learn. We try and and remember. Um, so that when we do go into these charity shops, we've got half yeah. a chance, haven't we? So we're going to 
talk you through two that we've learned about this week and one of them is Jacob Cohen and Jacob Cohen was launched in 1985 and the Jacob Cohen brand focuses on producing artisan quality hand-tailored jeans out of the finest Japanese denim. Have you ever heard of, ja of Jacob Cohen? No. No? So on the 16th and 17th of April I've looked at sales and although only seven items have sold for Jacob Cohen um, the prices are between £29 and £118. Oh, wow. And if you're new okay. to these videos, we have a um, when we go into the charity shops, we want to be swift. Yeah. Um, we are looking to you know spend up to £5 to get something that will sell for over 20 That is our ultimate aim. Yeah. Obviously, when you go through the list of some of the things that we sold, we didn't quite meet that criteria. <laughs> but sometimes yeah, but you don't find those brands, do you? You don't find no, the good no, brands. No, that's it. I and mean, you do need to get, you know clothing on um to keep the um the algorithm going the the, yes. the activity going so um and it's not my fault hun i just can't have a pound rail no that's what it no, is you i can't do love i can't a pound, you, you, I love a pound sort of, rail it, 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 you just get pulled yeah you don't even see the pound rail it's a pound it, rail you just get drawn to it <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to show you um what i've got five things here that i've chosen from sold and evidence of what you can sort of get for some things um, so we're going to start with this size 33 with multicoloured stitching. So this brand is all jeans. So um, this pair of jeans here that Paul's putting up, um, 15 bids, huh? so that's quite um, quite in demand. Mm. They sold for 44.75 and um, with three pound 49 um, postage. It's a mm. funny thing, jeans. We don't really do jeans, do we? Um, selling jeans. We don't know enough about jeans. I don't know no. enough about all the things that are associated with the high rise, the boyfriend, I don't know any of that. I'm <laughs> too old to know any of that. I'll have to learn, but I don't really want to. Um, so for me, <laughs> yeah, £44. You've got, to, you've got to want to be able to do it. Well, yeah, £44 is <laughs> quite a lot for a pair of jeans, I think. But um, obviously that's probably quite cheap. Um, we've got a pair of 620C jeans. Who knows what that means? Um, they sell for £45, hum, with four ninety nine postage. Then we've got some J688 comfort size black jeans again Ooh. it's like a different thing isn't it it's like a like some sort of code um these sold for 79.99 with five pound postage we've got some special edition men's jeans now i picked these hum because the picture shows a really good logo um and in the logo it says special edition mm. and these went for 59.99 plus 4.69 i'm going to finish on a belter Ooh, because this is a 32 it. inch denim jeans very good condition but again they've got a different logo in so again it shows right. the logo um so you know what to look out for but these went for 118 pounds plus three pound 90 postage wow. and just bear in mind all the prices that we show you are for pre-owned items so it just goes to show you can get good money for for secondhand jacob cohen yeah yeah so we're going to move on to cole buxton now, I've chosen this mainly because um, we love Tam and Bell Resale. Shout out to them, what an amazing cha channel oh, yes. they have. Yes, definitely and they're go chil and pop along and have a look. Have a look. They're really children, cool. Cole and Dexter. So whenever I say Cole Buxton, I really want to say Cole, Cole and Dexter, Dexter. <laughs> because that's their children's names. But I've chosen this mainly because of Tam and Bell Resale because it reminded me of them and their lovely children. <laughs> so Cole Buxton started out in 2014 with the idea of redefining contemporary sportswear to suit the modern man's lifestyle, specialising in technical power from concept to finished product. There you go, it's a bit of a mouthful. Mm. So again, I've done the same sort of thing. The 16th and 17th, I've looked at what's sold. 16 items have gone hung between £18. There's one that's under that £20. Yeah. But they do, do go up to £150. Yeah. So it's not too bad, is it? Not too no, no, shabby. No, good. So are the, are the bulk over £20? Yes, it's only yeah. one that's gone under. So yeah. that's not that's so good. bad. So the other 15... Yeah. I've done all right. Mm. So we're going to take you through. Now, uh, this is um, sportswear. Again, it's another sort of thing that I'm not really into. For me, a T-shirt's <laughs> a T-shirt. Um, some of the prices of these T-shirts are quite... Um, quite quite high. Wow, I just, you know. Phew. So let's start off with these warm-up sweatpants. Grey medium. I don't know why they're called warm-up. Warm but, um, yes... I did laugh at this because the person that sold these has only sold them and got a really good price for them yeah. and only done two photos. 
So okay. that's not bad. No. Um, £62.50 plus wow. £4.65 for what is essentially They've done some, more photos. They've not got more money well, for Well, some grey <laughs> jogging bottoms. That's, that's pretty much what they mm -hmm. are. Then we've got um, this one. This is a Fight Camp pop-up T-shirt. Mm. No idea. It's like that special code again, isn't it? Yeah. Um, these went... This £25 <clears throat> plus £5.39 for a T-shirt. Then we've got a wool zip-up jacket. Now, in the photo, you may notice that there is a tag, but this is a pre-owned item. It was worn twice, but they cleverly kept the tag and then they attached it again. Oh, okay. They have made that clear in the listing. Yeah. Um, but because it's only been worn a couple of times and they've got that tag, they've sold it for £150 plus £4.85. Wow. So that's not bad, is it? No, that's Must good. remember that when we buy anything. Keep the tag. Keep the tag, yeah. <laughs> Get that obviously. cable tie going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So then we've got a pop-up limited run T-shirt. This hung for this T-shirt, you won't believe it, eighty-five pounds for a T-shirt plus three pounds seventy-five. But I think it's from. I think the pop-up is from like. I think they must have done a pop-up shop, and right. sold some apparel in that shop, and that's okay. That sort of celebrates that. That's what I'm guessing anyway. Yeah. Um, then we're going to finish on this signature scroll T-shirt. This went for thirty pound plus five pound thirty-nine. Right. So not bad prices no, for no, essentially prices, what yeah. is. Um, sort of stuff I would consider that you would wear I mean, in the home. I must um, admit, we'd probably remember that because of the name Carl. Carl. <laughs> we probably would remember we'll that. Remember it now, <laughs> aren't we? So that yeah. sort of takes us through the um, the research for this mm. week. Um, two people that we'd not heard of, or two brands that we'd not heard there's, of before. You know, we've been going through these weeks, there's quite a lot that we haven't heard of. <laughs> there's so many that we haven't heard of. And there's probably still so many that we've, we've not we even touched We could go for years, or. I think, and still not. We're not going to, though. <laughs> no, but we, no. we could do. Um, but yeah, that's sort of where we are, hun, really. We're at yeah. week 46. Um, we've got £1,259.60 to go. Oh, it's going to be so easy. <laughs> <laughs> so easy getting that in in the next few weeks. I know. Um, it's, um, you know, it's what it is. We're, you know, we'll, we'll keep plodding with it and we will... That's all you can do. Um, we'll probably have a sale at some point yeah, on I think there. Yeah, we do. And, um, you know, put some healthy discounts. Mm. Um, but obviously, the, the problem is the more discount you put on, the less profit you're making. Yeah, it's a double-edged sword, isn't it? And then, of course, you're not getting a lot into your kitty so no. you know you, you've got to have the right sort of balance it's not like you can say oh, i'll have a 70 percent sale yeah, or anything like thing. that because it, it wouldn't you know you wouldn't get your money back in the kitty no you don't want to do a lot of work and just get two pounds because um <laughs> so you, know, you, never you know, get we, that we're just we're just you know we've just got to find that right balance but we probably yes. will have a, a another sale i think so because we didn't have one last month did we we tried something a little bit different um yeah we did so we probably and, would uh, have a sale this yeah. this time yeah i um, think so but yeah, that's sort of where we're at, huh, haven't mm. we? Yeah. Haven't done it for a couple of weeks. We're probably a little bit rusty today. Probably waffled on for longer than normal. Um, but um, as always, we want to thank you for all your support. If you did want to pop along and have a have a look at what we've got, then that's great. Yes, yeah. Like I say, the link's below. And um, yeah, have a browse. Have a browse. See what you think. Have a laugh. Yeah. <laughs> But as always, we just want to say thanks ever so much for all of your support. Yes, yes, thank you. And, um, you know, please like and subscribe if you did like it all. And, um, and yes, and we'll see you next week. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs>